canning up chicken legs today in quart jars. I've got five legs in each jar and half a teaspoon of salt, which was my own preference. It has nothing to do with the canning process itself. It's just for flavor. And uh, I added maybe a tablespoon or so of water. And while this is cooking in the pressure canner, it will release its own juices. And I will show that to you later. So it's uh, cold, cold chicken, cold jars, cold water. And we're going to put these in the canner and get them turned on. And then we're going to let the canner come up to pressure and we're going to let it vent for about 10 minutes. And when that's finished, we're going to put the jiggler weight on and then we're going to process these for 90 minutes or an hour and a half, whichever you want to call it. But anyways, yeah. So I think next time I'll put the salt in the jar first and then the chicken. So the only reason I put the tablespoon or so of water in there was just to kind of push the, the salt down in through the chicken because it was sitting on top. Anyways, we'll be back in a bit. Okay, we got a nice steady stream of steam coming out. So I turned on the timer for 10 minutes. And once that's done, then we will put this 15 pound weight on. That's for my elevation. I am about 2400 plus feet above sea level. So I have to use 15 pound weight. So, yeah, like I said, once that's done, then we'll get the weight on and wait till that comes to a jiggle. And then we will time this process for 90 minutes. So our pressure canner has been venting a nice steady stream of steam for 10 minutes. We've got about 20 seconds left here. And then we're going to put the jiggler weight on. So I'll shut that timer off. And we'll get this weight on. And then in about five minutes or so, maybe a little less, maybe a little more, this weight should start to jiggle. And then once it does, I'm going to be turning down my stove top to maybe about a five and a half to six. And if it's uh, dancing a little bit too hard yet, I'll turn it down a little bit more. But uh, yeah, once it's, uh, you know, doing a steady thing, then we're going to set the timer for 90 minutes. That's what I have in here is quarts of chicken. So any meat that's in a quart size jar has to process for 90 minutes once that starts jiggling. And if you're doing pints, you do it for 75. We'll be back. You can hear it uh, rolling pretty good in there, and now this is just going to get ready to start rocking. It took probably about five minutes. So our goal is to get it to rock nice and gentle. Right? So once it comes up to a pretty good rock like that, I'm just going to start turning this down. Let's turn it down to about a six and a half. And just give it a second. And then I'm going to turn it down a little more. Probably to, like I said, about a five and a half. Or maybe even a five. Sorry, I'm resting my arm on the microwave and it's sliding on my counter. Oh yeah. You don't want it rocking more than that. It's got to go for 90 minutes. So the harder it rocks, the more steam escapes from that. So what we want is a nice gentle rocking. And we're going to turn it down to about a five and a half. And now I'm going to set my timer for 90 minutes, an hour and a half. There we go. So we shall be back. 
Okay, the timer just went off and the 90 minutes is up, so now we're just going to shut the canner off and leave it alone. Don't touch anything, don't touch the jiggler weight or anything. Once this little stack here has dropped, then it is safe to take the weight off. And then I wait for a couple of minutes, or you can wait for a long time if you want to. And uh, then I just crack the lid open so some of the steam can come out. Not much, just a little bit. And uh, yeah, once that's done, then I wait for probably a couple of minutes and then I take the lid off. And I take it off and let the, the steam escape from the back. So I tilt the lid towards me and that way the steam goes out the back. And uh, yeah, you just wait for another maybe 10 minutes and then take your jars out and put them on a towel on the counter and let them sit for 24 hours. Don't touch them, don't disturb them. Just let them sit for 24 hours and then once that time is up, you can take the rings off, wipe down the jars and then store your product. Now when everything's uh, cooled down enough that I can take the jars out, I'll come back and show you what it looks like. All right, this little stack just dropped. Not sure how long it took. I can't remember what time it was when I uh, looked at the, at the thing earlier. So anyways, it usually takes about 45 minutes or so. So now it's safe to take this off. And I'm just going to let that sit for a couple minutes yet, and then I will just crack the lid and let a little bit of the steam out. Okay, it's been about five minutes or so, and so now I'm going to just loosen the, the lid and uh, just take it up a little bit and let some of the steam out. Not too much, but... there. Just let it sit like that for just a couple of minutes, maybe about 10 minutes. And then we're going to come back and then we'll take the jars out so you can see what everything looks like. Okay, there's seven quarts. I'll let it sit in there for a couple of minutes yet and then we'll take it out. Okay, I'm going to Start taking them out and just transferring them over to my towel. Now there is all the natural juices from the chicken. And this is fine. Um, I don't think I'll have these sitting on the shelf too long. So, I mean, it's all been pressure canned. So everything is cooked and it's all sealed. So I think maybe next time though, what I'd like to do is add probably at least a quarter of a cup of water or maybe even some chicken broth and then let the rest of it do its own natural stuff. But yeah, there is five chicken legs in there in its own juices. It was packed raw and... Uh, the canner was cold, the jars were cold, but they were very clean. So that is it. Chicken that's already cooked, ready for my pantry. Yay!